Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah welcome to NIEVS home school I am Sabrina Hawk assistant teacher of science national ideal English version school Deshi dear students today I am going to take a science class for class 8 student on the based on chapter 6 today we will discuss chapter 6 lesson 4 to 6 that means atomic number mass number and isotope dear students take your book open page number 58 and follow the class with your textbook dear students lesson 4 to 6 is included to your short syllabus which is given by government <coughs> so let's start for our today's topic The name of the chapter is the structure of atoms. Everything that you see around is, is made of tiny particles called atoms. Atoms are far too small to be seen. Yet the scientists have developed ideas about the structure of atoms indirectly through various experiments and observations. Different particles have different characteristics because they are built by different types of atoms which have different numbers of electrons, protons and neutrons. The student, uh, this is if we <coughs> broke the atom, we will get electron, proton and neutron. Dear students, now we will discuss lesson 4 to 6. 4 to 6 is included to your short syllabus given by the government. The <coughs> topic of lessons are atomic number mass number and isotope different elements have different types of atoms for example the atom of hydrogen is different from the atom of oxygen the atom of one element is different from the atom of another element in respect of atomic size atomic mass and characteristics what why is this difference the difference in behavior of atoms arise from the difference of in the number of protons and electrons. In a normal atom, the net charge is zero. That means the we know that proton has the positive charge and electron has the negative charge. And in a normal atom, the numbers of electron and numbers of proton is always same. That's why that net charge will be zero of a normal atom but if it will be ion that time the atom will be positive or negative charged therefore the number of electrons and the number of protons are the same to explain the behavior of an atom the number of protons is usually used Dear students, mark this line. The number of protons in the nucleus of an atom is an element, is its atomic number. That means huh, we will get the atomic number of an atom by its protons number. That means how many protons it has, it will be its atomic number. There is only one proton in the hydrogen atom. Therefore, the atomic number is 1. There is 8 proton in an oxygen atom and its atomic number is 8. What information can you get from this atomic number? The carbon has atomic number 6. Since the atomic number indicates the number of protons in the atoms in a particular element and the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons in each atom, we can understand is that carbon atom must have six electrons dear students i have told that the <coughs> atomic number shows the number of proton of an atom then again i have told that the number of proton and number of electron always same then if the carbon has the atomic number six there, there will be six proton and also six electrons also and it, is it possible to know how many neutrons are there in an atom from its atomic number? 
no it is not possible to know the num number of neutrons in uh, an atom from its atomic number to know the number of neutrons in an atom one has to know the atomic number and the mass number of the atom the mass number of the electron is an atom is neg <coughs> negligible most of the mass of an atom is due to the mass of the nucleus again the mass of a proton is nearly equal to the mass of a neutron and this is the definition of mass number mark this line the mass number of an atom is an element is expressed as the total number of proton and neutron in uh, in the atom thus the mass number of an atom is equal to the number of proton in an atom of the elements plus the number of neutron that means if we uh, add the number of proton and number of neutron we will get the mass number of the atom for example there are eight protons and eight neutrons in an oxygen atom therefore the mass number of oxygen is 60 in the case of sodium there are 11 proton and 12 neutrons so the mass number of sodium will be 11 plus 12 equal to 23 it has been discussed before that if the atomic number and the mass number are known the number of neutron in the atom can be found find no, sorry found out you will see it clearly from the following example like huh, if there is 11 plus 12 uh, that means only if we know that uh, 23 and if we know the ma mass number and atomic number if we um, <coughs> subtract the atomic number from the mass number we will get the proton number now here there is an example for a element a the atomic number is 17 and the mass number is 35 find the number of protons and the number of neutrons uh, in the an atom of the elements dear students we know there is given atomic number from the atomic number we uh, will get the protons number and also the electrons number because proton and electrons will be equal in a normal atom <coughs> and uh, if we subtract the atomic number from the mass number that time we will get the neutron number so go to the solution the atomic number of element a is 17 since the atomic number is equal to the number of protons the number of protons in the atom of the elements is 17 again the number of electron is an atom is equal to the number of protons so the number of electrons is 17 in an atom their number of protons plus number of neutrons is equal to mass number of an atom therefore the number of neutron in, in an atom is of a, the element a equal to mass number of the element a minus the number of proton in the atom of element a thus the number of neutron of an atom of element a is equal to 35 minus 17 equal to 18 this 18 is the number of neutron now dear student we will go for the last part of the lesson this is isotope already you have come to know that the atom of an element have definite number of proton and electron but an element may be have different mass number this is because of atoms of an element may have different numbers of neutron look this is the uh, different types of isotopes different isotopes of hydrogen first is protium there and there is uh, deuterium and, and that is tritium that all are the isotopes of hydrogen and there the hydrogen atom tritium they have the uh, two neutron there and here only one neutron deuterium has the only one neutron and here no neutron uh, 
only one proton and one electron. Uh, for example, every hydrogen has uh, atom has one electron and one proton. Most of the hydrogen atom have no neutrons, but some hydrogen atom has have one neutron. These atom have mass number two because one proton plus one neutron is equal to mass number two. Again, some hydrogen atom have two neutron and and its mass number three. That means one proton plus two 2 neutron 1 plus 2 equal to 3 huh, that will be the mass number. These isotopes are shown in the figure 6.2 in the same way this is the definition of isotopes. The different atom of an element which have the same number of proton and electrons but different mass number is called isotopes. Dear students, in isotopes by regarding P, you have to remember there uh, P is the proton, proton number will be same but neutron number will be different. That is why mass number will be different of that element. Most of the carbon atom has 6 proton and 6 neutron but their nuclei, nucleus but <coughs> some atoms have six, 7 or 8 neutrons in their nuclei. Uh, thus carbon has three isotopes that means like hydrogen, hydrogen also has three isotopes, carbon has also three isotopes. I am saying that again the different atom of an element which have the same number of protons and electrons but different mass number are called isotope of that elements. Dear students, this is the definition of isotope and it is so much important for you and here I have written that how you will find the neutron number. The neutron number is equal to mass number minus atomic number and atomic number is the <coughs> number of protons of the uh, at, uh, elements sorry of the atom and mass number is number of uh, proton uh, added with the number of ne neutrons. So, if we subtract atomic number from the mass number you will get the neutron number. Dear students, I have finished my today's topic. Hope you have understood. If you feel any problem, you can contact with me. I have given my contact number and my messenger ID on the board. Keep practicing. Follow the government uh, short syllabus and according to your short syllabus, you will get your assignment and <coughs> follow the YouTube class and live class for getting the assignment. Write the assignment so clearly and use same size of paper and according to government rules you have to write all the assignment and you have to uh, submit all the assignment you will get the assignment mark on that mark your merit position will be <coughs> created. So stay safe, stay home. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.